Hey folks, welcome back to our Space Haven Brutal Difficulty tutorial series. Let's get started. Uh, so I'm recording this around the holiday time, so I'm slightly tipsy, but I don't think it's going to make me make any more crazy mistakes than usual. We'll see about that. We're currently in the middle of salvaging a derelict, the MAS Please Don't Explode, which unfortunately did not live up to its name. And we've got some minerals that we can gather here. Also paused, paused the logistics on the hypersleep chambers so that I can rearrange them on the next jump. Um, let's look through our tech tree and stuff and see if there's anything that we can build uh, that we haven't built already yet. So we have our current research work that we're doing is on the chemical refinery. So that's the next thing on our list. We have an item fabricator that's already built. We have the energy refinery. Uh, we don't... Do we have a metal refinery already? I don't think we do. We've only got three tech blocks, though. I think we want to save that for the chemical refinery, and then we'll get into the metal refinery after that. We're just going to give our guys some time here. We're down to five blue crystals, but we also have 12 energium. We've got five water units, but we also have eight ice. And we're pretty good on the hyperfuel with six hyperium. So our fundamentals are all okay. Uh, we don't have a lot of food, though. And we also don't have any spare fertilizer. We've got a little bit whatever's left in this grow bed here currently. But our main focus is to get to the chemical refinery so we can get the fertilizer to get our grow beds running full time and maybe build a couple more of them. Are we already salvaging hull block? I think we are. Yeah, we are. Just going to keep an eye on the crew member who's working aboard the derelict here and make sure they don't run out of oxygen or anything weird like that. Also keeping a weather eye on our sector view up here, this little indicator in the corner to make sure there's no enemy ships jumping in or anything dangerous happening. I'm really looking forward to the small shields that they're introducing in the next uh, update, uh, Alpha 14, uh, because I think that's going to really help us out with our brutal tutorial playthroughs. Having like a little thin shield that just protects us from meteorites and nothing else is going to be super, super useful. Saves us a lot of resources and energy and stuff like that in the early game. Um, so we have some energy scrap still that we can pull from this. We have all the hull scrap, however. Is it worth it for us to stick around? How much energy scrap is actually available? We got quite a few nodes here that can be pulled apart for energy. I think it's worth it. We could if we wanted. We could also get some tech scrap. I don't know that we necessarily need to do that. I think it's going to be worth it to stick around a little bit for the energy. Let's try to get all of that. They also have a kitchen here, so maybe let's salvage a little soft scrap and see if we can get some food from the kitchen. I don't think we will, but we'll check. Looks like we are still taking apart the hull, which is weird because it said there was no hull scrap left. Uh, we failed to dissect the kitchen system. Must be tougher than it looks. We've been eyeing our energy supply. We're up to nine energy units. We must have brought some on board just now. From the derelict. And we got another hull block build, it looks like, since our queue is clear now. We should start uh, doing a little more scrap recycling here. We have three hull blocks, so I think we're okay, actually. I don't have any other... no. Okay, we're still working on the soft scrap. But the kitchen is done, so let's cancel the soft scrap, bring the rest of it back, and then we're done here. Are we still working on the hull? I'm so confused by that. Okay, we're going to let everybody sleep since it's the end of the day, and then we're going to launch first thing in the morning. We're not in a radiation sector or under any kind of pressure where we have to leave the sector immediately, so this is a good time for us to rest.
I probably need to build a second algae dispenser. I'm realizing now that we have five crew members, I think this algae dispenser only really sustains four crew members, so somebody's probably going hungry. Uh, maybe there's enough for five. Okay, that was it. So we're on to the next workday, which means we're ready to jump. Looks like we're catching up on some logistics, doing some research, some good stuff like that. All right, what do we got in this sector here with us? I can't remember if we've already checked out this derelict or not. It's been too long since last Saturday when I played. Uh, I'm going to quickly check this out. I'm trying to curtail my use of ums and uhs. So far, I'm not doing too well, I think. That's all right. Let's see what we got here. Um, I did it again. Okay, we actually have two derelicts to explore in this sector. That's pretty cool. Potentially pretty cool, anyway. Um, so we have four guys here. We actually have two shuttles now, so we could bring our entire crew over. Uh, is Ishmael any good at fighting, and does he have a weapon? Ishmael does not have a weapon. He does have a negative surrender chance. But yeah, he doesn't have a weapon, so I don't think it's worth it to bring him. I think we're going to leave him to his own devices while the rest of the crew goes over. Nobody else on the crew guy crew dies. Technically, Ishmael can try to survive and fly us through to the end. Although we really hope that doesn't happen. Because that would be a very boring playthrough, even if we can manage it at all. Uh, I don't like the look of this. We're seeing one big guy here. We don't see a nest yet, so there's a possibility that we'll be okay. We've only seen one of these guys so far. We have a pretty good view through the window here. So I'm not super, super worried. And we got a good placement on that guy. We managed to kill him before he did any damage to our crew, which is stellar. We can just mow these guys down as they come through the door, no big deal. Okay, uh, let's go and open this door. Actually, uh, let's back up here. We're going to start picking up these while we're waiting for the aliens to come in. Come on. Here we go. Okay, we've got a free kill there. We got another one coming out of the hallway here. I'm gonna open this door, though it's probably not necessary. They were shooting at something. They must have seen another alien in the corner somewhere that I didn't see. There's one. Might have been him. It seemed like they were shooting kind of this way, though. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it was this guy they saw, I think. He must have been hiding behind the reactor or something weird. Uh, I don't like the position that he's in. There we go. Hit him, come on. There we go. Okay, we did it. The Rocinante, poor Rocinante, did not fare very well. I guess it makes sense they'd be a pirate ship. I'm a huge Expanse fan, by the way. You guys should check out that show. Not sponsored. Uh, we're going to queue all that up for transfer and salvage. Is there any critical resources from here that we immediately need? Fertilizer. Um, I think we're going to... Let's unqueue the salvage, and we're going to quickly transfer the fertilizer onto the shuttle, and then we're going to go over and... Okay, the shuttle went over. That's okay. We've got this other shuttle here. Okay, micrometeoroids. Not a fan. Not a fan. Did we get the fertilizer, at least? We did. Okay, so as soon as these guys are done putting their stuff in the airlock, they're gonna go home. We're going to go to spacesuits on over here, and we're gonna get ready to leave the sector as soon as this shuttle comes back. Kill what are you doing, buddy? Come on. Oh, God. Sometimes they're not very good at following directions, or that they just think that what they're doing is more important than what I ordered them to do. Okay. Uh, let's see. Closing all the vents until this gets repaired. I definitely turned the spacesuits on, right? I did. 
Okay, I guess the other shuttle's flying over there to pick up cargo. That's fine. We're going to be here a minute repairing this stuff anyway. Yeah, spacesuits are forced on, we know. Okay, now that the breach is fixed, we can open up the holes again temporarily so air can circulate normally. I'm debating whether we should try to weather the storm and go over there. I think it's kind of dicey because the aliens are hatching eggs over there the whole time that we're over here. There's a possibility, though, that we could get a freebie. I mean, we're not that lucky, right? Okay, we already got somebody quick fixing that. Very good. Nice work, Gulliver. We salute you. Okay, we've actually finished with the meteorite shower, and I think our crew is still in good enough shape that we're going to go and check out the other derelicts. It didn't seem like it took us that long to get through the meteor shower, so we could be okay here. And let's turn off the spacesuit rule so that Ishmael can operate normally. Doesn't really matter for these guys because they're going to be leaving the ship momentarily anyway. Okay, we got to be very careful here because this could be a death trap. So far, we see nothing. I'm happy about that. Who's the guy with a shotgun? Okay, Gulliver's the guy with a shotgun. Perfect. Seems like the ship is empty. We lucked out. That's my impression so far. I'm gonna go grab that. We're gonna move these guys forward. Have them start checking out the other side here. In the interest of clearing all this quickly and avoiding wasting oxygen. Because I think the ship is empty. So we're gonna have him go there. These two guys are gonna go there. Gulliver, actually Mecky, you're going to go pick this up. And Gulliver, you're going to go rejoin those guys. Yeah, the ship's definitely empty. We would have seen aliens by now. Okay, we got it. The PCS Honest Mistake. That's a great name for a pirate ship. I love it. I just realized, by the way, that I didn't have my chat up, so if anybody was talking to me, I apologize for that. Give me one second. Hey, Boomalump, how's it going? Uh, yeah, we'll check the data logs and see if there's any info about Bryce. I don't think he's going to be mentioned, though. Seems like he's not a popular... Uh, topic in these parts. Maybe it's a secret. Alright, here we go. Ooh, food. We got two units of fertilizer. This is a great sector for us. Energy blocks, we need those. Energy, we need that. Water, we need that. Two different food units that are difficult to produce, we need those. And we get some fertilizer on top of all that. Let's try to transfer all that before we get into salvaging. Oh, everybody's going back to the mothership. I guess they got other stuff to work on. They got a lot of things to repair, so that makes sense. Fix all the holes on the ship before going to get resources from a different ship. There's a certain logic to that. Okay, we can start the salvaging now. We have two shuttles, so we shouldn't run into any like logistical or running out of oxygen issues. Even if we have people working on multiple sh multiple derelict ships. Since we have those couple extra units of... Okay, we actually already have all these grow beds full. That's fine. Let's um, increase the threshold for these guys to... Oh, these are already getting untended, so maybe that's not a good idea. It's just only two of the beds are untended. I think it's because we were off the ship so much, checking out these derelicts and salvaging and so forth. Uh, let's check out our priorities and make sure we have a botanist who's staying on board, tending the plants. So the guys staying on board are Mecky and Scotty. Are either of them a botanist? No. Okay, so we're going to have Gulliver switch with... Is it going to be Scotty or Mecky? It's going to be Mecky. Gulliver's going to switch with Mecky. Here we go.
So now we have we'll have a botanist on board full time to take care of this. Getting lots of goodies. Could think about producing a little more hull block. I think we're going to do that. Got to produce two more hull blocks for trade purposes, probably. Uh, we also have enough energy scrap to produce another blue crystal, so we'll go ahead and do that. It also gives us some infra blocks as a fringe benefit. We do have a day log here. Call me crazy. That sounds like it's up Bryce's alley. I'm going to read a random entry here. Log one, second star to the right. So um, that one doesn't count. This is HSS Call Me Crazy. Ship's log, first entry, Captain Floyd Pierce. I thought I should probably start keeping one now that we've got an actual ship that can fly. We got the hyperdrive installed today, which means we're all set to leave. Eden, here we come. Brown thinks I'm too optimistic. I just like to think, you know, things are so dark right now. Us little lights have to shine that much brighter. Oh, this guy's naive. Yeah, you too, mate. <laughs> he just gave me the finger. Anyway, uh, I mean, it was bad down there. Really bloody bad. London's basically underwater nowadays, and the week before we finally got the shuttle up to our haven, I swear I saw a body floating down the street. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that any longer. I feel bad for the poor sods we left behind, but there's only so quickly this program can work, isn't there? It's only going to get worse before it gets better, and it'll just keep getting worse unless people have something to do. Somewhere to go. All the boards and social media are buzzing with this... Rumor? Idea? I'm not sure which, but they all imagine there's a planet out there somewhere, one that's enough like Earth that we could live there. It has to be pretty exact. It needs the right gravity, the right air, the right... lots of things. But it's a big galaxy. There's got to be a planet like that out there somewhere, right? People online are calling it Eden, and I guess that's our mission. We can't keep living on these ships forever, can we? No. We need a planet. And we... I think we learned from Earth how to keep from messing up a new one. We were just behind the curve with Earth. Eden will be different. We just have to find it. So, that's what we're going to do. End log entry. Sorry, no mention of Bryce there. We checked. And quite a lot of hull scrap actually could produce a couple more hull blocks on top of the few that we already queued. Let's wait for the current recycler queue to empty though. Since a lot of the recycler is running on solar power now, we probably want to make sure that it's active most of the time producing stuff. I'm actually wondering if we should work the industry in multiple shifts so that we can make the best use of our battery capacity, our power capacity nodes. What are other... Another thing we could do, we could put another power capacity node here. We have enough energy blocks, technically, but I'd rather save them for things like shields, I think. I think after the chemical refinery, we're still heading towards artificial meat. We haven't got all the advanced industry stuff yet, but I think I might want to get an early shield so we don't have to worry so much about getting bombarded by meteorites anymore. Let's add that to our queue. So I'm going to put the shields console ahead of the industry stuff. Same with the shield generator. We'll see if we can get there. Both of these are basic research items. They don't take any experiments, so that's good for us. It means we don't have to sacrifice any additional resources beyond the time that we spend on the research. But that's a ways down the line. We're still working on the chemical refinery. And we got a couple other research topics for nutrition going on before then as well. Still working on board the Rosinante. Getting there. Uh, we've almost completely scrapped the honest mistake. We've got a little bit more energy scrap to grab there. Hey, Seager, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by, man. Good to see you. 
Uh, yeah, we're doing all right. Uh, I think for a brutal difficulty playthrough, we're in a pretty good spot. Uh, we've got a five-man crew with uh, all of our stasis pods built out. We're working our way up the industry tree. We've got a bunch of solar panels uh, keeping our ship running. And we're working up towards the chemical refinery so we can reliably produce food. So yeah, we're in good shape. We had a couple rough patches early on. We found a research station, which was really fortunate. Saved us some experimental research in the early game. Uh, we lost at least one, I think two crew members at various different points, fighting aliens mostly. But other than that, we've been doing pretty well. So, so you're, by the way, guys, if you don't know, is my stream is my uh, stream buddy. He was on hiatus for a long time, but I used to raid his stream all the time, like after every lunch stream. Uh, his stream is very chill and nice to listen to. So if you haven't checked out his stream already, definitely check it out. Uh, let's see. Is there anything I want from these guys? I think I'm going to want some raw chemicals once we get the factory online, which we're going to soon. I also want to buy a steel plate because we have a weapons manufacture queued here. I want to get that underway. I want to get a couple units of this stuff. I don't want to spend all my money, though. Let's get, like, two, three more raw chemical units and another unit of carbon. Oh, yeah, they're so, so important. It's amazing. Yeah, I learned that the hard way. The first, like, two playthroughs, I think both times I had uh, somebody get, wham or get whammed by the... Uh, Hyperspace Sickness. Okay, we've actually done our salvage, so as soon as we get our shuttle back, we're ready to launch, we can let our crew sleep, though. Oh, that's right. Okay, I think we're good to go to the next sector now. Let's see. I want to check this outpost and see if there's anything we can trade there that we haven't already traded. I have a feeling that we've already traded with these guys. And there's probably not going to be much more that we need to do there. We're about ready to head out to the next sector, I think. But we'll just check this one last time. And then the other outposts that are in the main sector one last time before we head on to the next system. Let's see. We're going to sell one unit, two units of electronics components because we don't need five of them for any reason. We're going to buy two more units of fertilizer because that's the thing we still can't produce for ourselves quite yet. We're going to buy one unit of Hyperium because it's not that expensive here and we're only at five. Do we need any base metal? We have plenty of base metal. Yeah, we're good. We could, we're going to fill the rest of the hold with biomatter because we it's going to be a while before we get the composter and we want to get that stuff out of our inventory so it doesn't clutter up storage a lot of logistical backlog there there's like 10 boxes still just stacked up outside the airlock they're getting put into storage slowly i just realized i think we need a second storage soon probably we're at 222 out of 250 Got a meteorite shower incoming. Our shuttle's on the way back, though, so we should be able to get out of dodge before we take too much damage. I'm going to go ahead and queue up. I think before I was thinking about relocating this bathroom and putting the second storage here. That would be the optimal thing. Let's see if we can manage that. Let's get out of the sector first and dodge the meteorite shower. Don't put holes in my ship. It's rude. Yeah, by the time the shuttle is docked... Okay, perfect. There we go. Okay, we definitely don't want to go to the alien sector with the five little guys that we've got. We're going to head towards the safe system. If I wanted to stretch out this playthrough... I could potentially double back into the pirate sector, and then I'd have two more systems to prepare for the alien sector. And I'd have, you know, places where I could pick up hyperfuel and stuff like that. 
in those sectors. But I don't think that I want to do that with this playthrough, because we're just trying to learn how to get through the game here, effectively. Okay. Lots of blue checkboxes. Everybody's got a hypersleep chamber. Good deal. And keep in mind, we wanted to... What did you start to begin with, possibly? Yeah, we started on the new difficulty level, the brutal difficulty on the small hope. Uh, so this is like the hardest difficulty that we're playing on, the new one. Now, we're in the radiation sector. I don't like that so much. What have we got here? We could jump down to here right away. I think I'm going to scoop up some Hyperium crystals and see if we can trade with the androids first. Interrupt. We should also probably look for more tech blocks if we can afford them. We missed our trade window with the androids, unfortunately. But that's okay. We'll see them again later. We're going to double back through this section a couple times, probably. Thanks. Yeah, this is, I think, my f overall, my fifth or sixth playthrough of the Brutal Difficulty. I did die a couple times the first few times I tried it. And the most recent playthrough I did before this one, which is actually um, doing the YouTube recordings for that, um, I actually lost my whole crew because I got a couple of assault rifles on my group and I got cocky and tried to take on an alien ship that was way too crowded. So that was a little rough. But we're making good progress this time. And we're up to five people, which is good because it means I can't lose them all at the same time. It also means we have all of our skills covered. Oh, let's go ahead and do this. Now that this is empty, had the logistics turned off so that we can rotate this. I just want to make it face the pod on the other side so that it actually looks nice now that we have the room for it. These pods all need another... That's interesting. It says needs unmet nothing, but it also... Okay, these are actually charged and ready to go. So, yeah, that makes sense. So the next time we jump, these three will be ready to relocate. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a good scene. It was a... Um, it was rough. And the funny thing was, like, at the end of that recording, I terminated the recording and I was like, I guess we're done with this playthrough. And then the following session, I spent like an hour just talking about doing like a, a recap of what happened and what I should have done better in the previous session when I wiped out my crew. And during the course of the recap, I had it on fast forward in the background and a couple of AI ships tried to show up and clear the alien ship and all the AI ships got wiped out by the aliens. Like they sent crew after crew after crew and they just kept getting murdered. So there ended up being like 14 guys in the cocoons on board the alien derelict. It was ridiculous. It was kind of hard to watch because the AI is so terrible at fighting aliens. It's hilarious. The fallacy of big guns, yeah. Okay, I was going to move this... I was going to relocate this bathroom, I think. In order to do that, I think... I need some wall here because I don't want the bathroom to be in the hangar bay. I'm going to put this over here. And then we can just put a wall around it like so. And a door here. And then... How are we going to get it to the pod bay is the next question. Can I... If I make this wall one wider, then... We can actually go through the bathroom to get to the pod bay, which is fine. There we go. Actually, we can take the store and just move it over there so we don't have to reconstruct it. Now we're probably going to move the thermal regulator over there. It'll be very interested for the next update to be able to build skills that'll change the whole feel of the game. Oh, yeah, I know. That's going to be so different. It's going to be crazy. Just imagine having like a weapon skill of 10 and just being able to blast through a group of enemies on board uh, another ship. That'd be crazy. Let 
of course, then the the AI is probably going to have some guys with higher skill too. So it's going to be super dicey, probably. Church of Price in the next patch, yeah. I think they delayed that one, unfortunately. Why is this mail not able to work? Uh, okay, he's feeling better now. Whatever it was, he recovered from it. So recycler Q still or recycler Q's idle again. Let's go ahead and make some more whole scrap. We never have too much whole scrap. Oh, we also have 15 energy scrap. Whoa. 5, 10, 11, 12. So that's two blue crystals right there. Very sweet deal. Okay, we're actually done mining in this sector. So as soon as everybody is ready, we can move on. The crew's pretty well rested, so we're going to jump while the crew's sleeping, actually. Don't have to worry too much. This is a good point for us to stop in mine. Military ships would be a no-go for boarding actions. Yeah, no kidding. Although, one thing I've discovered from kind of trial and error with that is that if you destroy the enemy ship first, like it used to be that it was more advantageous to actually board the enemy ship while it was still operating, right? Because then the shields would be intact and you'd have all the time in the world to like clear out the prisoners and do all that kind of stuff. You wouldn't have to worry about them running out of oxygen or bleeding to death too much. But uh, in the new version, I've actually found that if you destroy an enemy ship first, then you get a whole bunch of holes in the hull, and the AI doesn't know where you're going to come in. So you can set up an ambush point where and kind of lure them in to your area one or two at a time and take them out the old-fashioned way. So it's not too bad if you do it right, but it just requires a little bit more resource investment. And you really only want to do it if you're actually looking to take prisoners. We got one assault rifle that we have for sale. I wonder if we should build some more. Let's see how much. I don't think we have any more steel plates. I think we had one and we used it to build that rifle. Yeah, that's fine. Meteoroids. Always with the meteoroids. It's like every sector. Meteoroids. Meteoroids are the name of the game in brutal difficulty. Hull breach. I don't like hull breaches. Where's that? Okay. Let's um, have our spacesuits on. Here we go. They broke the power node. One thing that I think that's going to be really interesting and different, and I'm not entirely sure whether I like it yet, is the new uh, power distribution system that they're introducing in 14. I'm not really sure if I like the concept of wireless power, because I kind of enjoy the... the rerouting power when one of the power nodes breaks. I feel like that aspect is going to be missing from the damage control in the new version. But I guess that's the thing that trips up a lot of new players, so it kind of makes sense that they would change it. Aegis, what have you got for me? You want the assault rifle, sort of, but I think we'd rather give it to Ishmael. You want the unit of plastic that we have. Do we have any use for a unit of... We're about to get the chemical refinery, so we don't need to hang on to plastic. Let's sell that. We have the option to buy tech blocks from them, but we don't have a ton of money. We're going to sell them a couple whole bucks because we don't need that many right now, and we have some scrap left over still. Is there anything that we need from them in exchange, or do we just take money? We don't need blue crystals, really. We don't need green crystals, really. And these tech blocks are kind of expensive, so I think we'll hold off. I mean, relatively speaking, it's still cheaper to buy them, probably, than it is to produce your own. For certain definitions of cheap. We have two damage craft. And fire on board. As long as we... Oh, leave the grow alone. Repair that door. That's priority. Ishmael. Go do logistics on that. Somebody also has to do construction, I guess.
Why is nobody eligible to do construction tasks? Maybe the guy in the cons that can do construction is in the pod still. Yeah, Mackie's gonna have a concussion. That's unfortunate. Can somebody also? Okay, Vaughn's working on that. Good. I was reading up on that, totally agree. It's basically they're leaving the current power node system as advanced function power and having everything else, the small bits, just running. Yeah, that's what it seems like. The, even the, the advanced power nodes, though, it sounds like are going to be wireless. Like, they're not going to have links that you have to manage anymore. They just have to be within range of each other. That's my understanding. Okay, we're actually done with the meteorite shower. We can open all that up. And we can turn off spacesuits. We already finished our trade. Let's have Meki, as soon as he's done with his construction job, he's going to rest from his concussion. Okay, yeah, he's, he's done now, so... We could actually charter medical service from this military alliance ship, but I think I'd rather... I think I'd rather just have him sleep it off. It's only a minus six, and his health's not that low or anything. Fixing solar panels. Give him a minute to handle that. Still processing energy scrap. That's good. Okay, I think we're ready to go here. I want to do this first. I'm hoping that Meki will heal from his concussion before we get to the derelict. Making sure I remember to open all my events. I did, as it turns out. Let's have Meki eat for an hour, because he's looking a little hungry there. More micrometeoroids. Okay, we're actually ready to leave the sector. Let's do that as quickly as possible before we get hit. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Get him, Vaughn. I hope they have some place to get. I was going to say, I hope they have some place to get spacesuits, but I guess they can get them from over there if they need to, so shouldn't be a big deal. We're definitely not ready to tackle the derelict yet with our shuttle bay on fire. But we can at least move over to this other sector and avoid the rest of the meteor shower. Get it, Gulliver. You can do it. We give our crew a minute to do damage control before we move on to the next sector. Mickey is like, I can put out this fire in my sleep. They're not very good at firefighting, turns out. Well, I mean, eh, they got it under control, I guess. Took them a while. Okay, so now the question is, where is the nearest gas scrubber? There's one here in this section. Okay, so we're going to open that. We can open all these sections. This section we can open. I want to leave this closed. We can open this, this, this. Yeah, so we're just giving the gas a path to escape through. Actually, we can open this because there's another scrubber in here. That'll make it faster. Okay, so we're just allowing some time for the smoke to clear. Concussion is still progressing. It's unfortunate. And he's hungry again. Go eat something, buddy. Virtually there's nothing to eat but algae at the moment. Okay, 
Okay, let's start mining. Now that the fire is taken care of. Still have some high temperatures in a few areas. Yeah, scrubbers are working. Smoke is slowly clearing out. I think we're good to open everything now. Why are you sleeping in the bridge? No idea. Maybe because he vomited on the floor there. Poor dude. I think the comfort changes in the next patch are going to be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing sort of more natural looking ship designs that it forces me into. I mean, I think our current design is already decent. This is mostly what we had on the small hope, but we just put an extra bed in there. Sufficient resources, food, yeah. We should have plenty of grow beds running though. Yeah, we got five fertilizer. We're so close to getting this research done. Come on, guys, you can do it. There we go. Wands on the case. There we are. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, where are we going to put our chemical refinery now that we actually have the technology? We probably want it to be back here somewhere, I'm thinking. Yeah, let's continue expanding this area. So this is going to be enough, I think, for the chemical refinery. And let's make another little more kind of corridor space here. Now we can actually expand our grow beds as well, so we have to think about where we're going to put additional grow beds, which means we should start producing some infra blocks. Let's produce like another five infra blocks, like we've done with the small, formerly small hope. Yeah, thank you. Now it's like a sort of smallish, medium hope, I guess. I think we could put a door here and also a door there. Resource. Now, we're also looking for a place to put a metal refinery. I feel like this is a great place to put a metal refinery. I also want to see what the footprint of the chemical refinery is like. Actually, this space would be better to have two of this shape. Like, the assembler is this size and the chemical refinery is this size. So I think I want the chemical refinery in here. And then we're going to put the metal refinery like here, I believe. Ship started to look a little bit more natural with this con this part of the construction here. And we're not jumping right away because we have some hull construction that we want to do here. And we can't jump while our pods are out doing stuff, obviously. There we go. Okay, so this room is going to be finished like that. And then, how do we get the metal refinery in neatly here? Is it like that? It has to be over one... Oh, it's not going to fit neatly, is it? That's rude. I mean, people can walk around the metal refinery to get to the hyperdrives. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. So... It's going to be like... Why can't I not build there? There we go. That's better. It's going to be like that. We're going to put another door in here so that the pathing is less crazy with this setup. We probably need a door here. We definitely need a door in front of the metal refinery here. Uh, we have a door that's right there, so I think this is okay. We actually have enough tech blocks, we don't. So this is going to be our next project once we actually have the resources for it. We should cancel this until we're done with the chemical refinery, actually. So we've got the space blocked out for it. Okay, as soon as everybody's rested, then we're good to move on and check out that other derelict in the neighboring sector here. Hopefully we'll find some tech blocks. 
Let's have somebody repair this during the night before somebody gets up in the morning and breaks it trying to eat from it. Scotty, you're good at that. I like that our engineer is called Scotty. We appreciate that. Mechie got rejected. That makes his concussion worse. It's like a double headache. Okay, we're ready to launch now. I think Mackie's in okay enough shape that we are going to send him over to the derelict, even though he's concussed. Oh, let's, while I'm thinking about it, because I'm launching the shuttle here, let's have Ishmael go pick up his remaining assault rifle. There we go. I'm not going to bring him with on this away mission, but I just want that option to be available should we need it in a hurry. I'm going to start here because we have a nice entryway like that. I like this nice wide field of vision. Oh, we got a nest here. Let's uh, actually go peek through the window here and see how bad it is. This is going to be dicey, guys. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. We'll check. We see some energy cells, tech blocks, hyperfuel. I mean, this is going to be a good haul if we can do it. That's two nests. No, no, we're not doing it. Forget it. Not worth it. There's no option to pick this stuff up manually, is there? No. I'm going to add that as a suggestion on the Discord. We should be, If we see boxes like that on the ground, we should be able to go pick them up. Like, manually, through crew orders. Yeah, multi-nest is a no-go when you've only got five guys. You really need eight guys to clear your multi-nesser. Or more than eight if you're unlucky. Yeah, we have. waiting on this to produce more infra blocks in order to finish our chemical refinery. We have a rule set up for it already, so it's just a matter of time before they do. We have the resources, the infra scrap. Okay. We missed the androids before. I want to see if they have cheap tech blocks. I don't think we traded with this ship yet. Yeah, we definitely haven't. The Storm Star, that's a great ship name. Very majestic and dangerous sounding. They don't have cheap tech blocks. They do have tech blocks, but they're not that cheap, unfortunately. And they don't really want anything that we have for sale right now, which is a sadness. We can actually sell them some biomatter, technically. Iron Matter and Noble Metals. We need energy blocks, not really at the moment. We still need tech blocks. We could buy Optronics components if we were on the way to getting tech blocks, but we're not really yet. How many... I'm going to do this sale, and I'm going to see how many tech blocks it's going to take for us to get the metal refinery. It's only two tech blocks. I think we can afford that. we got like 1,500 credits here. Not counting the stuff that we just got from selling things that we haven't sold yet. Mechie still concussed. Concussion's getting better, actually. It went, went from, like, minus nine down to minus one. Now it's completely gone. Perfect. Let's 
Scotty is a little malnourished here. Here we go. Have some real food, Scotty. He's got a protein deficiency. Yeah, we're working on that, Scott. We'll get there. I don't know whether we should rest here, just in case our next stop is also a derelict. I don't really know what we're going to... I mean, we can do that in the next sector if we need to. Let's jump. These are both derelicts. We're going to stop here and just have the crew sleep for a minute. And then we're going to go check out one of these derelicts. So Ishmael can keep working because he's on his regular schedule. And he's not on the away team. Actually, it's everybody's bedtime anyway. That's fine. Now these guys get up in the middle of the night and eat something. So they're not starving so much. Here we go. Went in for a block away from our chemical refinery. I'm going to queue a bunch of infra blocks here, actually, because after we're done with... Actually, we already have a bunch of infra blocks queued, so we're good there. We'll queue a couple more, even, when that's done, I think. What we might actually do is some... Do we do some tech scrap? I think we just need the infra scrap. I don't think we really need electronics components. Okay, we're going to send these guys directly over the shuttle, because we know that there's a derelict in the next sector. Might as well be ready to launch ASAP. Now the question is, which sector do we go for first? I'm going to go for this one because we got lots of options to get resources and stuff in this sector. There's a cultist ship in the neighborhood we got to watch out for. They're probably going to be a pretty big ship, too, because we're late in the game. Kind of getting, well, mid-game, not really late game. But... Okay, and our shuttles are ready, prepared for launch. Okay, we see a nest. It looks like... I think that was a nest. Yeah, that's definitely a nest. I'm going to have Gulliver peek his head in and just open this door. And then withdraw. We should probably kind of blitz a little bit if we want to get in there and kill the eggs. Let's get over there and kill... Yeah, let's kill these. That one's about to hatch. Get that one. Okay, we got them. Ow. Can we get this open and kill whatever that is before it hatches? Yes, we got it. Okay, now there's another one that was hatching over here, so there's a possibility uh, we're getting ourselves in trouble here. Let's back up. Let's back up. Let's play it safe. We need to make sure that we have a viable escape route for our crew here. This guy can take up the position here. This guy, do like a bounded overwatch. Just try to get everybody in a position where they can safely retreat when they need to. Okay, we got through that wave. Let's kill the big egg here. And we see a big guy. I feel like I'm not entirely sure if this is one nest or two. So far we've only seen one of those big guys. I think I'm at a risk sending Gulliver over. Oh, that one already hatched. Okay. It's getting real risky. But we got a good position here. As long as we hold this position, we're okay. I 
we start seeing multiple big guys coming out of these doors, then we're going to cheese it. We're going to send Gulliver to go, and Mechie, I guess, to go find more enemies. Kill that. Kill that. Gulliver, you're doing it wrong. Oh, boy. This could get dodgy. Oh, uh, no. Okay, where's the big guy? There he is. Let's have somebody other than Gulliver take the hit. That's good. This Gulliver was already a little bit injured. We're still doing okay, guys. Our yellow bars are all up. Our healths are all up. We're taking calculated risks. Trying not to get murdered. Can you destroy that? We can't see that from here. Okay. Thank you. Uh, meteorites are super rude, but we're going to clear the ship because there's only two eggs left and we don't want them to hatch. Hopefully... Okay, now we're going to beeline back to the ship here. We're going to set our spacesuits to on, and we're going to close all of our hatches and try to hold out until the crew gets back to effect repairs from the meteorite shower. I'm really happy with that result. I think we did we did a real smooth job of clearing that nest. Solar flare. Oh, I don't like that so much. Okay, maybe this sector is not worth it after all. Let's think for a minute. Oh, tech blocks though. Let's okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna transfer we're gonna expedite transfer all the stuff from here because that's the stuff we really really need we're gonna mine this and we're gonna have the rest of the crew just stay on board here as damage control um let's not let the reactor get knocked out if we can help it good job scotty you got it you got it buddy actually they're all concussed oh it's bad oh it's bad guys oh i don't like it oh rudeness Let's, is this a nav console that's got it without power? Can we get that fixed? Somebody is currently fixing that, I think. I mean, the solar power, the solar flare is not the end of the world. It's just, I think the the meteorite shower after all these guys were already concussed was actually more dangerous than the flare. The flare is just going to be a pain in the butt. It's going to kill our grow beds, is all. We still have no power to the re the um no power to navigation. Let's get Gulliver to fix that if we can. Gulliver, where are you going, buddy? That is not What the heck's going on here? Everybody no, we're not sleeping on the job. We got work to do. Kill me guys. Gulliver, fix it. Okay, Gulliver's getting the nav back online. There we go. Okay. We've almost got the transfers done. We got all the important stuff. We got our green crystals. I think we can get out of here before the solar flare hits. I'm optimistic. Famous last words. Oh, no, I was wrong. I was very wrong. Okay, we're going to stop the, re the reactor in case it helps. It's probably not going to help much. The fire's on board. Thankfully, everybody's already in a spacesuit. Solar flare's damage is done, so we're going to turn the reactor back on. Try to get everything still working as quickly as we can. Let's get some vents open in the forward section of the ship because my grow beds are running out of CO2. And I think that's a fixable problem. So all the areas that are not on fire, which is the forward section here, we're going to have those all open to each other to try to keep the CO2 even. Are we done? 
Let's make sure the power nodes get fixed, guys. Power node, fix. Power node, fix. Scotty, that's you. Okay, we can turn off the spacesuit directive now. The worst is over. We can turn off expedite. I'm gonna queue these things for salvage. Meanwhile, we got some repairs to do on board here. This room is full of smoke. We gotta think about how to let the smoke... Oh, we got a gas carver right there, so we're just gonna let it out into this room. Scotty's almost done fixing this. When he's done with that, let's have him fix this other power node. Scotty. You failed me, Scotty. But not for the last time, because I still need you to fix things. Okay, I think we can open everything now. Smoke's all cleared out. Come on, Scotty. Scotty's tired, he's got a concussion. We're gonna have everybody, everybody's gonna have to sleep after this. I'm a bit worried about the state of the crew's health here. Let's have everybody except for Scotty sleep for like five hours. We still need Scotty to fix things here. Okay, can you fix this critical power node that powers? Well, I guess it's not that critical actually, because everything still seems to be running, but. We're gonna have these two guys sleep. These guys on board the derelict, how are you doing? Ishmael's fine. Vaughn is tired and concussed, and he's got a crawler bite. So everybody's coming home for bed anyway, so it's fine. Okay, we got the power node back online. We got Nav back online. Things are looking up a little bit. Scotty's saving the kitchen on fire. It's fine. He's had a long day. It's allowed. Yeah, we can queue these things for mining as well. Civilian ship, nice. Potential trade partner. Still waiting for this one last infra block. We're pretty backlogged with all these repairs. Plus the concussion, people arresting all and healing their injuries. Everybody ate. Let's have these four guys, who are all concussed, rest for a little bit longer. Now that we've weathered all the space hazards that this sector has to throw at us. We just gotta keep an eye out for the cultists, is all. But we've got all the important resources already. We expedited the tech locks and everything, so we're good on that score. But we have to leave, we'll leave. Ayudices Ascendant. Greetings, Ayudice's Ascendant. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Let's see. We'll sell you a couple soft blocks, because we can. You have the option to buy a shotgun. I don't think we need one right now. We could buy some more tech blocks. We got four currently. Do we need more? I think at this immediate moment we don't. It would really speed along our construction though if we got a couple infra blocks, because we're going to be producing a bunch of infra blocks for grow beds. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to just buy five of them. We're just buying a grow bed, basically. So we'll get this one, and then the next infra block that comes out of here is going to go into a new grow bed, which is going to be in the bow section, I think. So this is five, five, and I want one more to have a wall in between the two grow beds. Of course, they're not going to get much done because everybody's sleeping off the concussion. Everybody eat again. Stop setting the kitchen on fire, it's rude. Scotty did not eat anything. Here we go. 
What do civilians want? It's going to be carbon, I'm guessing. We got two guys out in pause now because they're working on the whole scrap, I think. Hey there, fellow spacefarer. Create three carbon for 219 credits. We're seconds from getting the chemical refinery online, so we're going to decline that. Because each carbon unit is going to be worth like 360 credits once we get the chemical refinery online. Let's get Scotty to get up for a minute and fix this. Scotty's not looking too hot. He's got some kind of notice going on here. He's concussed. He needs a medical bed. I guess otherwise he's doing okay. He's just, he's uncomfortable. One of our guys is actually better. Gulliver has actually recovered from his concussion. This guy's hungry. Let's have him eat. This guy's sleeping off. This guy's got nausea. Critically low on hull blocks. I mean, we can produce one more from scrap, technically. After we produce the infra blocks that we have queued. Nobody's sleeping for the night. That's good. Scotty still for some, has not eaten anything for some reason. Oh, uh, stop doing that. Don't be setting things on fire in the middle of the night when everybody's trying to sleep. Scotty. Okay, you know what? Closing that. Some people, Scotty. Some people. The crew's going to be unable to sleep until the smoke clears, I think. So we have no other ventilation. We could actually install a vent into the bathroom. I think that's a really good idea. Because that's going to enable us to vent smoke around out of the kitchen, which is a frequent source of fires, without smoke going into the crew quarters. They're going to ask us for... They already asked us for carbon, so next it's going to be raw chemicals. Again, no. <laughs> okay, we can open everything up now. Let's put all the injured guys on a reduced work schedule so they can still have a little bit of extra healing time, but they can still get stuff done. Vaughn, Scotty, and Mechie are going on the reduced schedule. So, Vaughn... I've just copied and pasted this. So we can give them an extra meal... An extra three... four hours of sleep and an extra meal time each day. We have to remember to take that off once their status... concussion status goes away. How's our water supply? We're at six ice. We could stand to buy some more ice because we're about to ramp up our grow bed production. All right, we got a chemical refinery. It's already broken. Well done, question mark. Um, let's produce up to five chemicals. <laughs> we're gonna produce three units of plastic and two units of fertilizer. We also have the option to produce IV fluids and medical supplies. I don't think we're going to do that currently, but it's an option for the future. It occurs to me that if I want to put an assembler in this room, I have to take this door away. I think that's okay. Or flip this around and take that door away. It's probably better to take this one. So otherwise this whole part of the ship is blocked off from the starboard side. Sell them a unit of space food, sure. What do we want in exchange? 
I mean, nothing really. More infra blocks? I think we're all right. We actually could use some infra scrap. We should start thinking on scrapping that. Looking forward to having enough food to actually feed the entire crew so we're not dealing with malnutrition all the time. We're still going to have protein deficiencies. But this is going to be a significant improvement. We're going to need a new power node up here, I just realized. I don't know where that's going to go yet. It's probably going to be an in-floor node like here. It's unfortunate that it's not in range to actually provide backup power to the navigation console. But there's no easy way to fix that unless we put a large power node in like here. Even that, that doesn't cover the grow bed, so it doesn't do us anything really. Okay, let's see. If we were to put another large power node here, where would we put it? That would be kind of okay. It doesn't cover that one wall, but we're going to have a window in that wall, so that's fine. But yeah, I think we're going to do that. I think I'm going to put... I'm going to build out this little square here so that we can put a large power node in front of the bridge and behind the grow bed, next to the grow bed section. So we have some redundancy and some local power storage. MAS Endeavor, what do you got for me? We have some chemicals, finally, that we could sell you if we wanted to. Oh, they've got ice. We need some ice. I'm going to buy eight ice units, and sure, why not? We'll sell the one chemical unit. And we'll also sell a soft block, because we have plenty of resources to produce them. Two soft blocks. And what do we have for biomatter? We got 11. That's fine. Are these guys getting any better? I have a feeling that Mechie's getting worse. I think we need to put him on a more restrictive schedule. There we go. So Mechie, he's just going to work two three-hour shifts, and that's going to be it. Gilver has all kinds of deficiencies. He's not getting enough to eat. Come on, if you guys can finish the grow beds, then we'll get that sorted. I promise. We also need to finish... We're going to cancel our hull scrap here. Oops. And I want to get this infra scrap done. So that's going to be our priority. So we can get the new grow bed online. Hope Mecca, he's not an industry guy. I don't think he is. Not sure. Okay, it looks like Gulliver is doing the industry. That's fine. Scotty's actually on the mend. He's basically fine now. Cultists, I don't remember whether the military lines are enemies of the cultists or not. We're not going to take any chances. When we get down to like the three hour mark, we're going to spin up the hyperdrive. We can afford to sleep it off in this sector a little bit. Let our guys heal. Okay, that's the three hour mark. Let's get ready. Okay, so we're prepped for a jump at any time. I want to see if the military alliance will shoot at the cultists, because if they destroy them, that's lots of free stuff for us. So we're going to just stay at our stations and be ready for jump. Okay, the military alliance is not at war with the cultists, we can tell, because they're still willing to trade with us, even though that ship is in the sector. So, time for us to get skiddaddle. I don't want to check out another derelict when our guys are still concussed and healing. I want to find another sector where we can just sit and mine for a minute. There's a lot of derelicts in this sector. Holy cow. I mean, that's good for us. But it's just inconvenient right now. So we got this sec this derelict, this derelict. I mean, all the ones that basically have mining resources in the same sector still. We have to check out. So we're going to loop back and do those. Hopefully without getting hit by any, any more meteoroid showers, right? OK, 
concussion it's not that deadly but it's such a time sink because you really have to put your guys on a rest schedule in order for them to get better otherwise it'll just get worse and worse and worse and they eventually will die why is Gulliver starving everybody else seems to have no problem getting food oh we can't finish this because we have no hull we don't have enough hull scrap um let's see we actually just need to produce one more process one more hull scrap in order to have another block to get this done so let's add that to our industry queue I'm going to let our guys just work on board the ship. I think getting this grow bed done is more critical to our survival than getting these two mining resources here. I just want to let them work until that's finished. Scotty's back to normal, so let's put him back on normal schedule. Here we go. Mecky is improving now, finally. One is doing okay-ish. Could be better. Emslander. What do they want from us? Plastic. Yeah, we'll sell you some plastic. Good deal. Have it, buddy. So we've got some chemicals. We can sell them as well. We're going to sell them another soft block. We have the option to buy energy blocks again. We're going to buy... We can buy lots of carbon because that's just pure profit for us. Might want to buy a little bit of energy along with that. We have the option to buy some machine guns. Got some expensive Hyperium available. I think we actually could stand to have a little bit of meat, but it's kind of expensive even here. So I don't think it's worth it. Maybe we'll get one unit. Let's buy one unit. I think that'll be okay. Okay, we should have finally finished producing our one hull block. So yes, this is getting done now. Perfect. Okay, so let's queue up our wall construction here. So we got that done. We're putting a power node here. I'm going to wall this off from the bridge in case of a solar flare-related fire. How are we going to make it accessible, though? We're going to have to redesign the bridge a little bit, I think. For now, I'm going to leave it like this. Like this. Like this. That's the best we can do at the moment. Uh, and I'm missing a wall node here. There we go. Okay, sweet. So that's online. We can start producing this grow bed here. And we can install a window so that the grow bed can have some light if there's no power. Nice little solarium there. I think I want to ha I want these walls to have to be a window as well. Let's go ahead and do that. These don't cost infra blocks, do they? No, just tools. Well, tools are fractions of an infra block. You know what I mean? Our industry is just behind because of our injured, concussed guys who are working on a reduced schedule. Just taking them a while to get everything done. Especially with all the chemicals and stuff that we have queued. Okay, we got our new power node linked in. This is going to be great for redundancy. We're going to have a lot of power availability now to the hyperdrive, which is fantastic. Or to the navigation console, rather. That's what we want to have. Okay, Vaughn is back to normal. So it's just Mechie holding up everybody. Got all the mining done here, so we should move on to another sector. Although I really, really want Mechie to heal first. Yeah, we're just going to sit. I want Mechie to heal because we have so many derelicts to check out in this sector. Everybody needs to be in tip-top shape for that. Okay, we got our first, our next level of botany. That's pretty sweet. So we've got a CO2 producer and a water collector. We're not going to build the water collector yet because it's such a power hog. Or do we? Mm, maybe I'm lying. Maybe I'm lying. 
They want carrots so they can do research. Okay. Uh, we need to be ready to leave when the pirates get here, so give it a couple hours. Yeah, we've got a lot of unattended tasks. Our ship's getting too big for the size of our crew. Okay, we're ready to charge up the hyperdrive. We've got nobody here to defend us, so there's no reason for us to stick around that last two hours. Pirates are going that way. We're going to go this way and then double back once we're actually ready for the derelicts when everybody's healed. Here we can get some Hyperium, which will help with the doubling back process. So there are two pods, we'll queue both of these things. I was going to build an extra storage and I completely forgot about it. We're still only at a 197 out of 250. And we have no infra blocks, so maybe that's something I don't want to do immediately, but I want to start building up infra blocks to get that. The next there, like we get, we've got to remember to get infra scrap. Okay, so as soon as this. Let's see, we can actually start building the life support for this room here. So we're going to have that. Actually, I want it here, not there. So we're going to have one there. We're going to have one there. And maybe we'll have a third one here. Yeah, let's do it. I don't have enough infra blocks for that currently. Let's add tech blocks to our production rules here. Because tech blocks can also be used to produce infra scrap in a pinch. Okay, now we're ready to produce our wall window. Here we go. A little bit of decoration, a little bit of light going from one section to the other. It's going to make it nice. Okay, so here is our grow beds. I'm going to wait until all the thermal regulators are done before we start planting stuff in there, just in case. Come on, Mechie. Mechie must be our construction guy, because our construction is so back. He's only got a one. Who's doing construction? Let's check. We have nobody doing construction. That's a problem. Because our construction guys are also our industry guy, that's why. That's just fortunate. I'm going to have these guys have construction as a second priority. Both of them. So that maybe it'll get done a little bit sooner. There we go. Now Ishmael's helping out with the construction. That's good. Fire. Fire bad. Okay, they figured it out. Okay, so... The stubborn concussion... Oh, we're down at minus three. That's good. Okay, let's get the grow beds planting started. We don't have to wait for this wall to be done. What are we growing over here? We got a fruit, two fruits, two veg, and one seeds and nuts. So here we're going to go seeds and nuts. I think we're going to do the same thing here, but we're just going to have this one on continuous production. Actually, it should be the other way around. This one should be... Let's do... F I don't need four, right? Three is good. We don't actually need any of them to be on continuous production. We just need a little bit of food availability here. That should be enough. So now our crew... We shouldn't have guys going hungry in our crew anymore, hopefully. And Mickey, you're holding up the whole works here. Oh, thank goodness. He finally lost his concussion. So in the morning, once everybody slept, then we can move on to check out some more derelicts. And we have pirates chasing us. I 
It's so weird that nobody wants to hang out in the... I mean, I get that this is comfortable-ish, but... He's just like... There he is. There's not even any... Why does he sleep there? He feels comfortable, so he doesn't care, I guess. Go figure. Just really wants to be near the... Maybe he's paranoid like me. He really wants to be near the nav console in case the pirates get here early. Okay, we're gonna go... We can allow our guys time to eat. We have just enough time for that, I think. Okay. I'm gonna send our guys to jump. These guys are gonna go get ready to board the next derelict. And Ishmael is gonna be our pilot for this jump. Okay, where are the pirates going? Thankfully, they're continuing on that way. So we got a whole circuit of derelicts that we still have to explore here. We're gonna head towards the one with the Hyperium first-ish. I don't want to explore Derelict with a cultist ship coming in, so we're going to go past them and come back. This is fine. I'm sort of hoping at this point that we'll find some more space stasis pods, because we're definitely ready to expand our crew. We've got all the resources, all the basic stuff that we need right now. Let's see what trades are available once we're done with our away mission here. They don't want to buy anything from us. They don't really have much that we could buy, although they do have some carbon. How much carbon? We've got 18 carbon. We don't need to buy carbon right now. Our industry is so behind, it doesn't make sense for us to just stockpile it. It's a waste of our limited resources. A lot of food left on the ground. They must have been having dinner when whatever happened to the ship destroyed them. There's a nest here. I don't like this terrain too much. This is kind of a little bit dodgy. Okay. Scotty, you're going to go do that. Scotty is fearless, so this is good. He's not one of our shotgun guys, though. Got trouble can Scotty get into? I think we'd move these guys. We can afford to move these guys up here. Good shooting, Scotty. Nicely done. Uh, yeah, we're going to bring him back a second. Scotty's going to step back again. Gulliver's going to step back again. Okay, we're doing all right. Thank goodness for shotguns. And people know who know how to use them. Let's blow that up. Good. Good. This tight terrain is so scary to me. But we haven't encountered any big guys, so I'm happy for that. Kind of lucked out on that regard. Pretty much know there's nobody in there because there's windows. I think we're clear. Yep. We explored the Radipole. It's a strange name. We found the corpse of someone named Valerie, along with some Hyperium, and we got some infra scrap, which we need right now. Solar flare. I think we're just going to ride out the solar flare. Because I want to get some infra scrap. And I think it's worth waiting for. 
I mean, we could expedite. But I do want this mining as well. As well. I want this blue crystal. Why is Mechie out of oxygen? Okay. But Shuttle is out of oxygen. That makes me unhappy, but he made it. It's fine. Unless we notice this time, right? Okay, now we can expedite. Let's expedite. We're going to have these guys on board that are on board here. I'm going to have two of our guys... Scotty should be one of them. Scotty and Gulliver are going to rest for a while, so they'll be ready to do damage control if the Solar Flare hits and does massive damage to us. Oh, here it comes. Okay. Um, so everybody, you guys are going to forget about sleeping. You're going to get up and scramble to the spacesuit locker. We're going to shut off the reactor, close all the vents, and cross our fingers. We've got a fire in the kitchen. Looks like we might have a fire shortly in the grow bed section. Gulliver, you're going to go work on that. Scotty, you're going to go take oxygen. And then, is there any other fires? There is another fire here. This is closer to the grow beds, and it's a little bit more critical, so I think I'm going to focus my efforts in the kitchen area. But we can turn our reactor back on now that the actual flare is over. And in order to get things started again quickly, let's also turn on the other reactor as well. Here we go. Okay, we're good. So we'll turn that off now. Okay, I think we're done with the firefighting in this room. Let's go work on this other room. Deliver what you're doing, buddy. Come on. I think we have redundant power up here now, so we're okay. We can open this. We can open this. I'm going to leave these two doors closed for a while. We're going to use our bathroom vent that we just installed. And vent into this once we put out the fire in that section and also vent into the airlock section. That should be good. Okay, the fire in here actually went out by itself because it exhausted the room's oxygen supply, which is fine. So this we can also... We can actually just leave this closed, technically. That's probably faster if we open it up. There's another gas grabber in here, so we're going to open this as well. You guys can be at work duty now. You don't have to be in spacesuits anymore. In fact, we can turn this off. And let's turn off Expedite so that some of our guys come home and help with the damage control, hopefully, at some point. Deliver still working on the plants as if nothing's happening. That's fine. I mean, I guess they still need tending. Might as well check on them, make sure they're okay. Scotty's going to work on this power note. That's good. So we've got a little bit of smoke in the... Oh no, that's this room here. The airlock. Spacesuit's forced on. I just turned that off, I thought. I guess not. That room might be a little smoky. We still need a an emergency airlock in the forward section here. We're still short in for blocks that we need to build that. It's a shame that we couldn't find any new crew member here. I really need somebody to do some industry. Why is our power offline? Uh, the aft power node is down. Scotty, you're going to work on that. Actually, both of our aft power nodes went down. That should restore our hyperdrives, and now this one is redundant, but let's get it done anyway. Okay, we can open everything up now. I guess we're running on batteries because of all that stuff being disconnected. That's interesting. 
Or at least we used up some of our batteries during the course of that whole business. That was our... We've got plenty of ice still. Thinking we might need to increase our water production threshold. Let's see what we got here. We're up to... Our production threshold is up to 6. We're at 4 right now. We're going to go to 8, I think, instead of 6. We don't want to get it too high because our industry is backlogged. But we need to be... We need to have enough so that we have water available at all times for the oxygen generators and so forth. We don't want our water to be late. We need the just-in-time supply to be reliable. So I think 8 water should be enough. Because not all the grow beds are getting watered at the same time. Is this done? We're still working on infra scrap over there. Finally getting some spare infra blocks produced here. We have enough energy scrap for another blue crystal as well. It's going to build something else that uses... Oh, it was the emergency airlock in the bow section. Let's see. Spacesuit locker. So this is in case the crew... In case these sections are all on fire or something and the crew can't get to the aft section of the ship. Or actually, there's really only two sections that have to be on fire, right? If this section's on fire and this section's on fire, maybe that one as well. Yeah, if these two sections are inaccessible, then the crew couldn't get anywhere. So... We have this close by the crew quarters as a backup. If for scrapping takes a while. Hopefully we'll also be producing some more, another whole block shortly. As our research coming, advanced nutrition is coming along. Another data log, by the way. Let's see. I guess we don't have to read that. This is a tutorial. Reading the data log is, can be potentially interesting, but it doesn't have anything to do with the tutorial content per se, so I'll try not to read too many of those out loud on uh, this particular play playthrough. All right, and I think this is a good point to cut it. So uh, folks that are watching on Twitch, stick around for a minute. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. It's free, and I will see you next time. All right.